The spots of a whale shark are much like a human fingerprint. No two whale shark spot patterns are the same. So, if I could teach a computer to see the spot patterns on new photos of whale sharks and match them to existing photos of whale sharks, then we wouldn't have to physically tag them. We could just take pictures of them and accomplish the same thing. And if all we needed was photographic data, then anyone could take pictures of whale sharks anywhere in the world, then send the photo to us. We'd use our technology to analyze the spot pattern of the whale shark and match it to existing photos in our database. This would provide all the information we'd need to study the population of whale sharks around the world. So in my spare time, I attempted to teach a computer to analyze whale shark photos using a form of artificial intelligence called computer vision. I knew it would be very difficult to do. So I read, and I read, and I read. But it was harder than I thought because the computer needs to not only identify spot patterns from photographic data, but account for different angles, distances, and different lighting and visibility. I asked a few friends to help, and we were all stumped. So then one day, I was randomly out with a Dutch astronomer, and he asked me about my whale shark project. And as I was describing it to him and saying how hard it was and how it wasn't working, the Dutch astronomer was like, oh yeah, we do that all the time. And I'm like, what? Wait, hold on, let me write this down. And he told me about a technique in star pattern recognition that was originally developed for the Hubble telescope, and it was based on spot pattern recognition. And that was the piece we were missing. And so we grabbed that technique, re-implemented it, refined it for whale sharks, and it worked. Once we had the technology figured out, we asked people from all over the world to upload their photos of whale sharks from over the years so we could train the computer with more data. And the more whale shark photos the platform analyzed, the more accurate it became and the more matches it made. In the last 10 years, we've identified 10 times more whale sharks than ever recorded in human history. And then we got to thinking that this could work for other animals as well. This could revolutionize how scientists calculate populations for animal species around the world. So I reached out to some of the world's leading experts in conservation, and together we created a nonprofit organization called Wild Me to house our data and spur scientific research. Our AI-powered platform is transforming wildlife population research for scientists all across the world. 